The proposed building. Development of the site design project continues. The location of the proposed building on the site needs to be determined so that the design of the parking lot and sidewalk layouts can proceed. The architect has given us the basic dimensions for the building pad, and we are tasked with defining its location on the site. In this lesson, you will learn to draw the building pad on the proposed site plan. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Place block. AccuDraw. Let's begin by opening the proposed site plan DGN file that is located in the DGN 05 Additional Drawing Tools folder. Once we've entered completely into graphics, let's zoom in locating the proposed site development. Observe that the geometry is angled slightly. From attributes, make the active level curb. Now, we're going to begin by creating the proposed building footprint. From the placement ribbon group, pick place block and set the following in the tool settings window. For the method, rotated, the area to solid, the fill type none. Using AccuSnap, locate the intersection of the lines shown here. Take note, as shown, AccuDraw is in a rectangular coordinate mode. The AccuDraw mode can be changed at any time, switching between rectangular and polar coordinate readout by pressing M on the keyboard. Continuing on, Ensure that the AccuDraw dialog has the input focus and is set to a rectangular coordinate display. Press O to issue the AccuDraw origin shortcut. The AccuDraw compass will appear at the snap point, allowing you to offset this location. From the keyboard, press RE to activate the rotate element shortcut and pick the line here as shown. This will rotate the AccuDraw compass to the same angle as the line work. Hint, the AccuDraw shortcut RE will rotate the drawing plane to match the orientation of the selected element. Now, move the cursor to the right and key in a distance of 30 feet. Next, move the cursor downward and key in a distance of 30 feet. Place a data point to place the first base point of the block. Now, move the cursor to the right along the AccuDraw X axis, key in a distance of 78 feet, and place a data point. This places the second base point, defining the rotation of the block. Take note, due to the nature of the place block command, AccuDraw changed to a rectangular coordinate readout. This will revert back to polar when the block is completed. Certain tools in MicroStation will control AccuDraw in a similar manner based upon the nature of the specific tool. Next, move the cursor downward. Key in a distance of 168 and place a data point. This is the diagonal point of the block. The block is now placed, defining the location of the building on site. During this lesson, you learned how to use AccuDraw to precisely place a rectangular shape or block on the site plan, marking the location of the proposed building design. To assist in the placement of the block, the AccuDraw shortcut origin was accessed via the keyboard to offset from a known location by an exact distance. The origin shortcut is but one of many keyboard shortcuts available when using AccuDraw. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.